a walker with sound dampening, thermal and electronic cloaking, and a stealth system that is usually reserved for starfighters. What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is going to be a short spotlight about a vehicle that most people have never heard about, the all-terrain force reconnaissance walker, the ATFRC. This comes from the Legend Source book Lead by Example, where we get a ton of cool details. It was made during the Clone Wars and designed as an improvement on the AT-RT. It ended up being about midway in size between the RT and the AT-ST, and is said to have a similar speed. So around 90 km per hour or 56 miles per hour, almost twice as fast as the armored assault tank. Like all the walkers, it was manufactured by Kuat Drive Yards, and despite all of its tech, it only cost 75,000 credits. Designed to be used by the ARC Troopers, it is specialized around stealth and efficient target elimination. Two ARC Troopers would be seated in the cockpit, with the driver slash gunner seated up high and towards the rear, and the dedicated reconnaissance systems operator seated lower and towards the front. His job was to use the state-of-the-art Fabrotech Longview 341A sensor array to pick up on enemy comms and communicate that data back to HQ. This whole system was highly encrypted, and it is believed that the CIS never cracked this code throughout the war. They were never able to detect the intrusion. But in addition to concealing its comm presence, it also went through insane lengths to hide its physical presence as well. First off is the active sound baffling system, which was able to cancel out the noise of the engine and drive servos. This tech is similar to noise cancelling headphones and even technology in some cars, using speakers to send out the opposite of the waveform that was created by this walker stomping around. This minimizes the net sound wave. Then it had a dual thermal slash EMP dampening system that was able to conceal some of the energy emissions, perhaps through a similar system sending out opposing electromagnetic waves. Then just to top it all off, there was an optical camouflage system. We have seen some personal cloaking devices that make you invisible to the eye, and you can also see them on larger ships like the prototype stealth ship, and starfighters like the TIE Phantom and the Scimitar. But with this walker purpose-built for ARC troopers, we get what I believe is the only invisible walker. Keep in mind that because it could also cloak its thermal and electronic signature, and the fact that you can barely hear it stomping around, then the ATFRC is almost completely undetectable. You can use thermal imaging to pick up a cloaked ship or person with a cloaked device, but that wouldn't work so well with this walker. So it's got its defense covered, but it also has some powerful offensive capabilities. A chin-mounted ball turret double-barreled auto blaster is designed to quickly rip through troops, and a rapid-fire concussion grenade launcher can blow apart light armor in seconds. So as you can see, this thing is mostly designed for reconnaissance deep behind enemy lines, and for eliminating any scouts or lookouts that may have discovered it. If it detected larger tanks or other heavy armor, it would most likely just try and remain undetected, and collect intel for other Republic forces. Some other interesting features is that if the reconnaissance system operator was ever incapacitated, the driver can take control of all the systems. And this walker contains an additional, customizable hardpoint, allowing Republic forces to attach mission-specific hardware to the ATFRC. All considered, it's a shame that we didn't see more of this stealth walker that was specifically designed for the elite ARC troopers. It would live on into Imperial service as well, but the exact amount that survived decommission is unknown. So let me know what you think about this thing down in the comments, and if you hope to see it in the final season of The Clone Wars. If you want to connect with us on social media, find ways that you can help support this channel without it costing you a thing, or check out our Patreon, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, this is what happens when you let ARC Troopers pimp your walker, and the Force will be with you, always.